Today I'm going to show you how to make a chunk light out of these simple ingredients and tools. A chunk light is basically an oil lamp that has been converted to use a heavier oil such as vegetable oil. So here's what you'll need. First you need to buy uh, one of these four packs of uh, ball wide mouth half pint jars. You can get them from Walmart or any other uh, better type of uh, store. You'll need a kerosene or oil lantern lamp. Um, the thing you want to make sure of is that the adjuster for the wick is very close to this plate here. We're going to be burning vegetable oil, so this is just uh, cheap vegetable oil. So our goal is to take this kerosene style lamp and convert it into this chunk light heavy oil lamp. Let's take apart our lamp that we purchased from Kmart. Take off the chimney. Now let's remove the burner. See how it unscrews here. There's the wick already there. Set the reservoir aside and there should be this ring here that you can remove from the burner. It's very important that your purchased kerosene lamp has this ring because on the new base we're going to use this ring to hold the burner to the top of the mason jar. So now let's open this package of mason jars. We're only going to need one for this burner, but you can see there are three others that we could use for another, other lamps. And you see there's the lid here. So now place the ring over the bottom of the mason jar lid, center it, and use the marker to trace a circular line on the inside of the threads. The next thing we want to do is to cut a hole in the center here of the mason jar lid. We'll use a pocket knife. You must be very careful in using this knife. You don't want the knife to, to come back down and, and cut your finger or something. That would not be good. So we're going to just make little punctures all around. You can turn the lid here. See how I'm starting to cut around and just cut all the way around until you have a hole. The technique I'm using is just you just want to puncture it a little bit. You don't want to you know, stab it or anything that's too drastic, just enough to get a little push. And there. Now, just wiggle it free, and now you have a hole in the mason jar lid. Now what we want to do is to remove this little top hat part here. So we'll take the wick out, and you'll notice underneath the burner there are two little tabs. There's a tab there, there's a tab here. We need to bend those tabs. You can, if you're strong and have good fingers, you can try that. Can try, you can try the pocket knife and hope you don't hurt yourself, like I'm about to do. And pop this off right here. Now you'll see that this burner has the, the wick tube here. This now needs to be cut down. So, and we can, there are a couple ways that can be done. You can do it with a cutoff wheel, or we're gonna try to do it with our pocket knife today. So we'll take a pocket knife, and you can use the phone book again to protect your surface. And you, if you do this, you're gonna make sure that any kind of slip of the knife does not cut into your fingers or something. So you don't want to put too much pressure and you just want to kind of wiggle this and work it in. You 
and it looks like this is pretty tough and you see that the knife almost closed on me so we have to do this at an angle so the knife does not close down on us and you see gradually I'm working this through all right so I've gotten a little a little divot in there as you can see I'm still working on this so so far I've got it so that the pocket knife will pass through most of the middle okay so I'm gonna try to seesaw this back and forth so I'll try holding it from this angle still working on this corner alright I finally cut through one of the ends so you see now I'm wiggling the knife back and forth trying to cut through the other end and still trying to get through this corner see if I can cut a little slot here alright I worked through this enough so that now I can just bend it off break it man was it a lot of work now I need to clear this open this is all bent okay let's put this together first I'll fix my tab here be very careful I don't bend it too much now we're going to put the bottom of the mason jar lid on here but before we do that we need to have the retaining ring on here because otherwise we'll never be able to get that ring on so this is kind of a tight fit here so push it as far as it will go so we'll use the ring the bottom here tighten that up get that nice and snug now let's feed the wick through I guess it doesn't matter which end there. so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill the reservoir with vegetable oil See, there's our vegetable oil try to do this without spilling any right about a little more a little more there okay set that aside put our lid here and you can fashion the little wick adjuster anywhere you want but the nice thing is you can these uh, mason jars you can tighten it and it won't turn the, the top here now you will see here this wick here is dry so we need to lower the wick let it sit there for a couple minutes down low so the oil can now seep up okay now we're going to light the chunk light so move the wick up get some sort of method to light it and vegetable oil does not like to light up easily take a little bit of effort we'll turn that down some put the chimney on and the chimney tabs are a little bit too close adjust those probably better to adjust those before you light your chunk light there and you still see it's taking a little while for the flame to travel all the way across the wick that's how hard it is to start vegetable oil why do I call this a chunk light besides the fact that it's got a chunky look with the bottom all short and everything well when I first started developing this I used a can of tuna and a kerosene light and that can of tuna if you can see here says chunk light and so that's why I call it a chunk light I hope you enjoyed this video and good luck on making your own chunk light. Bye bye.